So what is the biggest problems most people have with electric vehicles, range and charging times? If you need to go a long distance, you don't want to spend 30 minutes recharging your vehicle. So what if you could introduce a way of extending that range, a second system designed to charge the batteries up while you are driving? Ok, so technology like this exists and we call them range extenders. Now most companies use small internal combustion engines that only works as a generator to give power to an EV's battery. So the internal combustion engine doesn't power the wheels, it just runs to give charge. Now in most cases the internal combustion engines are super small and compact making them decently green and eco-friendly. But there is an even better option, solar power. A Dutch company by the name of Lightyear has announced that this fall it will start making the world's first production car fitted with solar panels. The Lightyear Zero will have curved solar panels on its roof, hood and trunk that top up the electric battery as it drives or even when it's stationary. So you can go and drink coffee and your car will be standing in the sun charging outside. Pretty damn cool. Now how much does these solar panels affect your range? Well on a single charge with absolutely no sunlight, the Lightyear Zero has a range of 388 miles which is decent for an electric car. But here's the big difference. Lightyear claims that with the solar panels the car will have an additional 44 miles of range per day. Now I know 44 miles doesn't sound crazy, but let's say you only drive around town around 30 miles a day, your car would essentially be able to drive without a charge for months, like if your car stands in the sun every day. So, so let's hope they have some good aircon in that thing. I mean if it's gonna stand in the sun every day, it's gonna get quite hot inside the cabin. But to this fact of the car being able to drive without a charge for months, the company says that in a hot country such as Spain or Portugal, and your daily commute is less than 22 miles, you won't need to plug in the car for up to 7 months. In a colder climate however, like the Netherlands, they say the car would need charging after just 2 months, under the same circumstances. Now all of that being said, battery vehicles are normally quite heavy. I mean the all wheel drive Model 3 has less range than this car and it weighs 1.85 tons. And this thing has a whole bunch of solar panels on top and the wiring for the solar panels in the roof as well. And then you've got the batteries too, so this thing probably weighs like a million tons. Well, here's the cool thing, this car only weighs 1.5 tons. How? Well the CEO of Lightyear claims that the powertrain is the most efficient in the world and the car's aerodynamic shape combined with the four wheel motors enable for a smaller battery to provide a similar range to other battery cars but at a much lighter weight. And that lightweight is what makes the solar energy viable. Other companies are also working on solar powered cars but none of them can match the Lightyear's promises. The only company that comes close is Aperta with their Never Charge, a little three wheeler that also claims to collect about 40 miles of range per day. But remember, this is a proper big car with four doors where the Aperta looks cool but I don't think it's very practical. So all in all, it sounds like this is an awesome car. So where are the negatives and are there any? Well yes, there is one big one. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 10 seconds and she tops out at 160 km per hour. So it doesn't have that lightning quick acceleration some of the other EVs provide. But then again that's not why it's made. The CEO of the company did state that the only big drawback was the performance but he had to sacrifice some performance for range. Now let me know down below what you think of the Lightyear Zero. Do you think this is a viable future? I mean if they can improve on this technology, it will be great. I mean imagine just driving around on the power of the sun, not using electricity from the wall or from charging stations to charge your car. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy it, I've got many more videos just like this one on like the future of cars and stuff like that. So go through my channel, I'm sure there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers eh?